Join me right now is UFC light heavyweight smashing machine hailing out of Switzerland, Vulcan Osmadir. What's going on, man? I'm doing great, thank you. What about you? Good, good, man. Uh, I've seen that you've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Can you tell me where you've been? So, after my last fight in Canada, I just uh, went back to Switzerland to spend, you know, of course, some time with my family and, you know, like, get some more contact. But I also went to Turkey. Um, it's been a while also. I haven't seen my dad, you know. I, I renewed some contact with him and uh, spent some time over there training also. And uh, visiting also, it's a, uh, it's uh, it's also a part of my culture now that I, I'm I'm re rediscovering or discovering right now. So um, it's pretty exciting. Turkey, you're half Turkish. Gokan Saki, mm -hmm. he's probably the biggest combat sports athlete coming out of the country. Could you talk about the first time you uh, had some interaction with him? So the very first time, I think I was like. In my late 18 or maybe 19 years old, I was um, traveling to Netherlands uh, and I was training at the Golden Glory Gym, which was one of the biggest or the biggest gym in kickboxing back in the day. Um, everybody, you know, from the K1 scene were from that gym, like most of the people, I think. And uh, Saki was there and uh, that's the, the first uh, few training I had with him. And um, yeah, he's fighting also on the same card, UFC London. Obviously, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try also to get some training with him maybe um, before the before the fight, so we can definitely train together. It must have been crazy to be that young and being in that gym. It's like historic place. It is actually because uh, I mean there were like probably like ten ten big names back in the day. You know they were they were all like big fighters. You know there was Semi Shields. You know uh, many many time K1 winner. Uh, Saki, Stefan Leko, um, Alistair Overeem was there also, the Errol Zimmerman, you know, I mean, there was like a bunch of people also like on the K1 scene at the, at the Dutch level also, like so many pro fighters. So it was definitely one of the, one of the biggest gym and I think that's where I had my first, you know, classes. And when I start, you know, def definitely learning kickboxing. All right, let's go back to your last fight. Before that fight with Anthony Smith, you had a major injury from what I heard. Did that have a huge effect in your preparations? And what about in the actual fight? Yeah, actually, I, I had um, a torn meniscus uh, for a long time, but it was getting worse and worse. And then it, were, it was getting more complex. And um, I think like two weeks before the fight, I, um, I posted like a small video where I'm doing some spinning back kick. I don't know if you saw that on my Instagram. Uh, I, like five minutes after, uh, five seconds after when the, the video finished, I think I just fell on the floor because while twisting, I, I actually tear my MCL. And um, yeah, I was like close to cancel the fight, but then uh, my ACL, which is like the, you know, like the, the cross ligament, uh, will not be affected. So, you know, this year, uh, I mean, last year, I, I, I had like two or two unfortunate events where I was supposed to cancel my fight. So, you know, a third time was not going to happen. So definitely I went into the fight uh, like this because anyway, you know, I'm, I'm a father. I, I go there and with a, with a strong mentality anyway. And uh, if I, I went to check a few doctors and they told me like my ACL will not be affected by this. So this knowing that i went into the fight you know without you know excuses and stuff so this is not something i'm gonna you know obviously saying much about it but definitely was a, a factor during my preparation not during the fight well me watching the fight live it didn't seem like the same vulcan to be honest with you like you were kind of more timid you didn't go out there like the killer like you that killer like usually in the being of fights you go out there and you just you know, you just smash basically. Was there a different uh, game plan going into that fight? Actually, yes. Um, there was a different um, mentality now um, with the injury, obviously, and maybe like the fact that it was a five round. Uh, so definitely, it was uh, it was something uh, else that, that that I've been cooking and planning, and uh, I guess it didn't work out well. Because, uh, you know, of, of course, in the third round, I got, you know, caught. But um, I thought the fight was, was mine all, all the time until, you know, the moments when, uh, when it surprised me with the, with the takedown. 
and um, then he went into the ground and uh, he was able to pull a nice move and, and get my back. 2018 must have been a very educational experience for you. It was a very roller coaster year for you. What did you take away most from that year? I mean, that was a that was a pretty much really intense year for me because uh, I had to deal with some issue, you know, on the side with uh, you know my uh, my my court case and and uh, everything that was pending, you know, all my you know, travel issues and like the cancel fight. Plus, I had two injury when I broke my nose twice, so it was like it was definitely a tough year. Um, I ended up the years with the fight, but before the fight, also another injury with my knee. And, you know, then I, after the fight, I took care of my knee. I took some rest. I, I spent some time back home and I'm ready, you know, to reset and uh, to start 2019 with the bang. All right, London, Dominic Reyes. Was he the opponent you had in mind to start 2019 with? No, um, my, my, my first thought was uh, to fight Blakovic, you know, and go back, you know, to the, you know, to the, to the top right away. Um, he wasn't available I, at the moment. He was already planned to, to to fight, you know, somebody which was uh, which later I, 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 learned, I heard that he was um, Tago Santos, and uh, they proposed me Reyes um, as a as a second choice, and you know, definitely I, I went I went for it. London is a, it's a it's a nice place. I mean, it's it's really close from home from home. In Switzerland, and I have a lot of people, you know, that that lo love to go there because it's one of their favorite cities. So I think I'm gonna have a lot of people also traveling with me, which is gonna be nice because because uh, now I can, you know, bring the my fight also next to to my country and also in a, in the same uh, time frame, you know, with the for the people here. Did visa issues have any effect on where and when you were going to be booked this year? Um. Not really, but I wanted to. I also wanted to have a fight in Europe. Um, right now, I'm waiting to reapply for my visa, so I can go back and train back in America. But uh, right now, it's just a matter of time. All right. So since you're getting your visa issues worked out, training camp, you must be doing it all in Switzerland. Where are you training? Who are you working with? So I'm actually training with the like the team that I, I've been doing most of my pro uh, fights. So since my second pro fight to, I guess, um, before the Russia fight, before the, so one more, one fight before UFC, I spent all my fight with this team. You know, it's uh, it's like the team uh, where I, I did all my first um, uh, fights and, uh, and I really learned how to, you know, uh, train really good and and uh, and I have you know definitely there is definitely a good atmosphere over there, so I'm going back to to the roots um, and uh, you know definitely it's a, it's a, it's a, it's really nice um, to be able to go back with my coach, uh, my one of my first coach and uh, you know maybe share some more you know higher level now uh, with him and uh, to see also what he has to offer still. Are there any differences in your preparations? Have you added anything new to your regimen? Of course, so now uh, we have to correct every time so there is something, you know, and uh, we see stuff happening. So definitely there is uh, uh, more stuff that I'm working on, you know, and then um, different stuff that I'm, I'm working also a little bit less because I want to, you know, um, uh, correct all my holes and you know the weakness and also make sure the the, the strength stays sharp but in a certain way it's uh, all about you know calculation and and knowing what what to do have you been out to the performance institute in las vegas yet i've been but uh, i think just three or four days uh, it was before my um it was the press conference for the UFC 220 fight, my title fight. So it was really quick, but uh, definitely it's a place I want to go back because, uh, you know, they can, you know, it's just uh, an amazing center and they can take care of all your injuries and by, uh, with the day by day uh, plan. And they have also the, you know, the, um, the nutrition plan. So it's definitely a good place to go if you have your team with you. Actually, they're building another performance institute. Did you hear about this? Okay. No, 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 not at all. Same place or? No, it's, it it's going to be in China, in I, I believe Beijing oh, or Shanghai. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Actually, I, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. 
Yeah, they yeah, say it's supposed to be three times bigger than the one in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah, I saw it. I think they're they're developing the sports really really well over there. You know, like with a few UFC China, and now I think there is a few stars that doing pretty well. UFC stars are doing pretty well in the, the Asian market. So I think it's going to be a, a big plus, definitely. Yeah. Now going back to the fight, this fight has an interesting dynamic. Dominic Reyes, he's a rising prospect. He's undefeated. You are at the top, trying to keep your position. Is this a crossroads fight for you? Um, I think um, right now I'm arriving to points where I'm cementing my place to the to the top of the division. Now I've been there for for a while now. You know, I started my career of fighting you know top top guy and top prospect. You know, so Dominic is nothing different. It's just me right now. I have way more experience and you know way more. Um, baggage uh with me because my first fight was against you know osp who was ranked number six uh back in the day second fight was against one of the top prospects uh four and no also all finishes a little bit like reyes and uh test fight was a really quick fight and again you know manua you know my title fight and so now i have way more experience and i'm still facing the best of the best you know it's the ufc like everybody in the top 10 are are tough but uh, it's it's all about differences, and uh, I, I know also right now with all the experience I, I've amassed, I know what are those differences. Reyes, he's very aggressive. You are also aggressive, but you said that you have made some changes in the past few months. Does his aggressiveness play into the style that you're going to bring into the oct octagon? I mean, uh, I'm, you know, also, you know me, I'm going for a bang, you know, I, I'm not somebody that's going to walk back uh, whenever something happens like that. If if you want to go to war, I'm going to war. But uh, the fight, uh, you know, played out, uh, how is going to play it out? You know, you, you have to adapt, you know, you know, you know, you need to be uh, thinking on your feet all the time because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's live, you know, you, you, you want to readapt in every movement. And you wanna you wanna be the best on at every position. The light heavyweight division in the UFC has become very controversial. The division with John Jones, you know, and his issues with USADA. What are your thoughts on his issues with the you know with the drug testing and everything? And do you believe he is the real light heavyweight champion? I mean. It in a sense that he haven't lost, uh, definitely. Um, then uh, I, I really don't know what to think about uh, the situation right now with the pulsing effect. I was expecting to see a positive test result after the fight, which we did not see it. So it's really, 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 really weird. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I will see. You know. I mean, it's fighting soon. I think it's fighting before me, right? Um, so we'll see if something else come up, but I mean, uh, if something else come up, then it's getting stranger and stranger, you know, like, uh, I don't think it's, it's normal to, to give uh, anyone passes when it comes uh, out to doping. So, you know, we'll see because if he has, uh, if he has the green lights to, to, to fight all the time, then how do we know, uh, when it's real or when it's not real? Definitely. You know, a lot of middleweight. You fought a middle uh, a middleweight that was moving up to light heavyweight. You know, you got Tiago Santos. I believe that this is actually making the division more exciting. Do you believe the same way? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, and let's not forget uh, Luke. Luke Rockhold yeah. is uh, is uh, he's been planning to 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 come up for a while now. Um, and uh, so it's a lot of uh, top fighters now, and uh, I think the division is getting uh, bigger, bigger and bigger. And uh, we have uh, top guys. You know, uh, you're tell talking about Anthony Smith, but Thiago Santos also is one of the top uh, top guy uh, right now. I think he's really strong, and he's uh, he has heart, and he's he's proving that he can stand with a lot of people in his last fight. Um, and Luke was a champion in middleweight. Now, if he gets, you know, uh, at a higher weight, at a higher weight, you know, he's able to eat also a little bit more. Everybody, everybody will be will be more dangerous and bringing more excitement to the division. Speaking of Luke Rockhold, you have trained with him down in Florida. How do you see him doing at light heavyweight? I mean, uh, as I, as I know, uh, he was really like eating nuts 
a lot of food and you know maybe uh, starving his body and you know of course it affects your your um, performance especially in a in a in a training camp where you need to perform because you need to 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 to, to be good and and uh, improve yeah improve all your capacity you know and uh, that's something you can do plus then you then after this, there is the weight cut. So definitely, it's a it's a it's a it's a big change when you when you're able to move up weight, especially if you're tall already. You know, if you if you're already somebody that is tall and is, is not going to be too much of a problem, then definitely it's going to be a, a big plus for everybody. UFC 235. You mentioned it earlier. John Jones is going to face uh, Anthony Smith. He is basically in the position you were in in the beginning of 2018. How do you assess this fight? I think uh, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna have to go with uh, Jones, um, but let's say that uh, Anthony Smith is a, um, a surprising fighter. You know, he's a, he's a durable, uh, and I think that's one of his weapon. Um, that's maybe how a way he's gonna upset um, everybody with John Jones. Because he's still there, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's been having, a, I guess he has a tons of experience uh, in his career, a lot of fight, a lot of long fight, and he's been having a lot of um, success and knockout uh, in the later round, you know, at the third round and, and stuff like that. So he's pulled off some nice victory. And I think he's just a, it's a du- durable fighter. So this is somebody you, you, you need to finish really quick if you want to have a win. And that's something uh, John Jones is going to have to do. You said you're going into this year with your mind reset. Where do you see yourself at the end of this year? I want at least two or three victory. I want the fight to be rolling. You know, to, this is going to be my my first fight, but then I want the fight to be to be rolling really fast after again. Uh, definitely, I want to have two two fights against uh, top top guys. Uh, Dominic Reyes is under me, but he has also a lot of momentum right now, a lot of uh, hype. Uh, after this one, definitely I want to have again somebody of the top five, and uh, depending of the situation with the with the title um, position and all the new newcomer in the division, then uh, I want probably to have a title em- elimination bout or a title shot. All right, Vulcan, ESPN, UFC on ESPN five, London, Dominic Reyes. It's a very exciting matchup. Thank you for your time and good luck on your fight, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, John.